everybody. My name's John and welcome to my channel. I'm back in the bush. I'm camping. So stay with me and we'll get started. I'm starting at the Camp Road Trailhead, which is a short hike to Backcountry Site 4. I'm showing this video out of sequence. This event occurred about three weeks before my previous Camping Knots video. This gravel road, which is Camp Road, intersects the Yellow Trail and the Yellow White Connector. So come along with me on the hike to Camp 4. This trail is the Yellow White Connector. It takes me up to Backcountry 4. Here we are, Backcountry 4. It's this right off the Yellow White Connector. This is where it goes uphill. I'm just testing how well the hammock rides and getting my shelter set up. I have trees perfectly positioned for tying off all the front tarp guy lines. This is backcountry four, tent site four. I'm giving you a 360 view. Got my sleep system set up. That's where I do my cooking. This is the fire pit area. Got a pretty good lunch going. Have some ramen noodles. Some peanut butter crackers and a couple of candy bars. This Thermarest seat pad is about my favorite piece of gear. I've had this thing for I don't know how many years. And it's lasted this long. And I'm really impressed with it for lasting this long. Because I use it for everything. I kneel on it, sit on it. I put it in my hammock. Put my feet on it. You've seen this before in my previous videos. It's the Warbonnet XLC Blackbird. And that's the Warbonnet Superfly Tarp. This thing is fantastic. It's so comfortable. I get a good night's sleep in this hammock. I used to tent camp and I, my hips and back would get sore sleeping on the ground. And so I switched to a hammock. I have a water source right close by. This branch always has water even during the real dry season down here at this end of it where this tree is. The deep part. There's always water down here. You just need a good water filter or you can boil it. right close by. I like it when my water source is real close by. It makes it lots easier. Staying hydrated and plus getting all your water you need to cook with. You don't have to haul it in. This is a good campsite. 
it's not far off the main road. I guess I only hiked about a half a mile over here from where I'm parked. I park over at the archery range. And I guess it's about a half mile over here, maybe a little less. Now this hammock is the XLC version of the Blackbird. It's a foot longer. I think it's 11 feet across from the whippy. And then the tarp. I think this is the 13 footer. You have like a foot on each side of it that hangs over. But I think they have two different sizes for this Superfly tarp. And this is the one that goes with the XLC. I don't need any insulation underneath. It's going to be in the 70s. I think it may be down to 69 tonight. And I usually don't uh, carry insulation underneath or don't carry an underquilt until it gets down about around 66, 67, 65. Somewhere in there at 65, you're going to get a little cool on the backside if you don't have any underquilt or some type of insulation underneath. But it's just too hot right now for it. But in a few more weeks, I'll have to bring it out. Got plenty of room underneath. I'm having this Knorr taco rice tonight. This Knorr brand is pretty good. Some of their things I like. And it's good to backpack with. Got a little boil action going. It's ready. I'm just gonna let it cool for a while. I use this deep woods off and I don't have any problems with ticks or insects. I also treat my clothes with a Sawyer product. It's called Promethrin. I just take this off and spray my arms and legs good and my shoes. Here is a shot of the Promethrin product I use to treat my clothes for ticks, mosquitoes, and other insects. Walmart carries it as well as most sporting goods stores. For breakfast this morning, I'm just having a couple of Pop-Tarts and a candy bar. Well, it's time to tear down everything and get it packed up. I normally wait until the sun's been up a while before taking my sleep system down. This prevents me from having to dry out my gear after I get home. Well, I have everything packed up and I'm ready to leave camp. We'll trek it on back to the truck.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to me, hit that bell so you'll get notified on my next video. Thank you for watching.